Morgan has dumped a master power corner in your data grip. All you have to do is make it there with our new exploding to pieces. No thank the maker. The power core isn't much further. Stop right there. I was alerted to an unauthorized. I'm dead. I know where you're going. My soldiers don't kill you. I will bring this whole facility down on top of you. <laughs> He's going to use that laser drill to blast you and R2! My, he is quite mad. Run! Yeah, you go. <laughs> Not that way. Oh, no, 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 no! He cut off the only way! Okay, if he's on to us and controlling the doors, it doesn't look like you can make it to the power core. But there's still a chance. Yes, with R2's help, I have discovered a construction debris chute that runs adjacent to the power core. If you are able to deliver the gas, I drop the Tabata gas in there and boom! Transferring the location. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shoot! You made it! About time I'll do now. Stop procrastinating and transfer the gas immediately. Uh, by transfer, Creepio means R2 will shoot it at you. No! I warned you! Go! Now! Get ready to catch! You can't stop! Brilliant! So I guess, uh, disable those brakes? 
I mean, it's a bit unusual that I'm that silent, I mean, it is what it is, that's just the situation that we're having. This is very tricky. You basically have to stay in the same position a little bit. I think I fell five times in the first situation, so you just need to stay. Bye bye! Bright sun, Vimerati here. 
Word amongst those in the know is you went and blew up a perfectly good brainwashing station today. And for that, you've earned my thanks. 3PO says you're quite the inspiration. Now, the rest of your story is up to you to write, but just know, our door is always open. Sure, the resistance might sound enticing, but don't discount a career in relic hunting. Not as partners or anything, it's just... I need to produce a company. Wow, huh, kid? Gosh, we really almost f***ed ourselves on that one. <laughs> as you can see, the deprogramming took, and his brain has been restored to its original, questionable state. Ah, good one, Doc, but the joke's on the first order. You gotta be educated before you can be re-educated. Hey, dear. Oh, cheers to that! All hail the first order! Gotcha. <laughs> I'm kidding, you minox. <laughs> oh, you're the first order. <laughs> you thought I was. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at that till I stop. <clears throat> and Doc, speaking of Galaxium, I will be needing another ship for the heist. One alone is not enough. Surely you can help? No. Do not ask again. <laughs> a ship that just might work. Hey, Cecil Slack, now that you're all together upstairs, do you remember the story that got them so mad at you? Oh, I do! The story I was telling? It was about a certain droid repair tech who had no business getting into this kind of trouble. But there they were, standing against evil wherever it popped up. <laughs> oh, I agree. The First Order would not like that. Yeah, yeah, I guess that story got us into quite the scrape, huh? But you know what, kid? <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah. That's the end, pretty much. I was actually confused that the game ended in the state like that. It was not very clear to me that First Order was like the whole premise of Last Call DLC. It was stated as a tale initially, but then the campaign mission jumped into it. Like, the second part of Galaxy's Edge seemed a little bit over the place in terms of just continuity. First part of the game was pretty much smooth because we had to rescue FreeCPO and R2-D2, and that was like the storyline altogether. Here we were jumping not only from tales to just random locations, so let's just the comparison to the whole project. I did enjoy myself way more than the first time around simply because I already knew the mechanics like we got upgraded things like reloading holsters or movement with the jetpack. So essentially this experience was enhanced by its predecessor. Do I feel like this patch really lacks in terms of performance because my headset I don't know if it was just exploding or the game is that heavy but the freezes the death things like it was way rougher in that department. I don't think we'll get something else besides that like the whole package seems complete. There's not much to extend for there nor there is even a point unless the developers want to treat this game as the center of many tales from Star Wars universe to provide more familiar faces from the films. I think at this point I'm at peace with the game and I don't really need to get more from it though who knows maybe it's gonna be extended one day. But yeah we're basically back in Cantina. Relic done, Fury done, all tales done, pretty much nothing's left except for those extra missions to collect some stuff but it's not necessarily my thing so I wonder what's gonna be next from the ILMX lab like they really do some cool stuff that are more centered around the cinematics and the gameplay around it which is pretty unique in VR nowadays. See you somewhere I suppose.